what's up guys so i'm actually really excited about this video because it is a hair video and i i've never done a hair video on my channel but i've had a lot of compliments on my hair and questions and how i achieve it so i feel like i should share this with you because it is a bit of a gem can't lie i've watched so many youtube videos on how to like get a twist out and for like my kind of hair because my hair is like 4c it's coarse it's it's a typical 4c hair and it's just really hard to get your hair twist to get a good twist out like the methods i've seen on youtube so i have my method and it's foolproof it is easy to do and you do not need that many products and the best thing about this hairstyle when i tell you that it gets better with like first of all you can you you can have it for more than a week and it gets better as you have it like i feel like the first day i have this hairstyle is not really my favorite when it comes to like day three day four it starts to really look better and i just love the fact that with time it gets it looks better and you can have it for longer than a week sometimes depending on how you take care of it so the first thing you need is a leave-in conditioner because you need to condition your hair and just make sure you treat your hair and like have it moisturized before you twist it out so no brainer you need a leave-in conditioner and my one is the camille rose um curl love moisture cream i've been using this for a while you're going to use some kind of oil i love to use olive oil from is from tesco it's not that serious extra virgin olive oil i love olive oil for my hair i feel like it absorbs it's good for your hair it's just really nice it's a good oil and i like to use natural oils on my hair so whatever oil you have already is what you will need and then the main the start of the show is a styling mousse so this is what you use to like really define those that curls um those curls and this is what keeps it i think that allows it to last longer than a week so you definitely need a styling mousse i know some people may not be comfortable putting like loads of this in their hair but i don't know i don't have a problem with it because if i've like treated my hair nicely before i apply this like i've already added like some love to it i don't mind adding this and because it's not a permanent hairstyle it's just something that you have for like over like a week or so you can always like deep conditioner deep condition your hair after anyway but this really is the star of the show and then the usual bits you need um detangler and an afro comb so i will jump straight into this for you and show you how to do it I look a little bit crazy in the clips because I literally did them with no makeup on straight out of the shower so I look a little bit crazy but if you want to know how I achieved this hairstyle if you like it um, keep watching and guys don't forget to subscribe and like and comment and engage with this video if you do find it helpful right let's do this so the first step is to get your living conditioner as you can see mine is basically almost done i'm struggling to get any out um and that's the first stage to prep your hair so it's leave-in conditioner first and then oil so i just rub that in um to my hair prep it make sure your hair is really moisturized so you can use whatever leave-in conditioner you already have and sorry i just came out of the bathroom so my eyes are literally red because i just like washed my hair and then followed with olive oil and just put that around my edges and just put that through my hair as well just make sure your hair is nicely prepped for the next step and then here is the start of the show this is really what you need you have to have a styling mousse some kind of styling mousse and you just put you have to be generous with this as well don't be shy go crazy just put like a lot on each on so you I don't put it all over my hair at once because I do it section by section. You don't want it to dry out. So you put it on the section you're working on and just kind of use your fingers to section smaller parts and then twist out. There is really no logic or no, no process to like when you're sectioning with your fingers, you just kind of go with the flow and then you twist and then you do that little thing at the end. You have to do that to make sure like the ends really curls in. Um, so make sure you always do that as well. And I mean, I go in with a detangling brush because you have to. If you have 4C hair, you just, you have to. So detangle the section and then twist out again. Not twist out, twist. <laughs> Thank you. 
and then you do the curly thing again always remember to do that curly thing at the end i'm going to show you one more time um i've gone in with more mousse just make sure you're generous you're not shy it's a little bit of a messy process can't lie because your hands are like just like there's mousse everywhere but it's what's needed be generous don't be shy um and then section it out to tangle and then twist out again i'm just showing you one more time so that way you really see what i'm doing honestly it's really foolproof as long as you have like the product the right product anyone can basically do this Okay, so I'm showing you, I've, I sped up this part, but it's me just showing you another section, the front section I'm working on. Um, just showing you one last time, just so you get it, twist it, and then curl the ends with your fingers, with your finger. And then this part is really important, you have to make sure that the hair looks like this, the end of your hair, the tip looks like this, like curled in. If you see any frizzy, um bits hanging off you have to trim it you have to make sure the ends are curled in and no frizzy bits i literally went through the through my twist and just trimmed off anything that's any frizzy ends that's like sticking out and make sure it all looks like this like that all curled in and no frizzy ends basically it's really important for your afro because when you do unravel your twist if you've got those little frizzy bits that you haven't trimmed it doesn't look good <laughs> it really doesn't look good so make sure you trim it that's another trick and then followed by this is day two i've just let it dry you have to make sure the hair dries properly um before you unravel it so if you can't wait two days you could use like a hair dryer to speed up the process but make sure it dries completely and then put some olive oil on your hands make sure your hands is you've got some kind of oil on it before you unravel the twist is really important and then put it all over your hands i've gone in and unraveled the twist as normal and then section each side it's trying to the twist into like three or two sections depending on i don't know what i'm feeling so you can see and make sure when you unravel that one section of the twist if that makes sense you also like curly around your hands around your fingers so that way you maintain the curls so as you can see what i'm doing here that's the second strand of the twist and i'm just going in and sectioning it off and like curly wrapping it around my hands i keep saying hands my fingers <laughs> to make sure the curls i maintain the curls and i'm showing you one last time here and you can see like everything is is quite curly as well because I've done it that way and that's everything all out and then you go in with a with your afro comb and just kind of I think the word is tease it you kind of is it tease it I don't know you see what I'm doing is what you need to do um you just kind of do it until all the sections are like until it just kind of looks good and your afro is more defined and just like until you're happy with it um so just keep going make sure you don't come be through don't get tempted, just keep going. Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed it and I hope you actually think that this, do you like it? Oh, another thing that I didn't mention actually is because my afro is not shaped, which I need to like shape it, I like a tapered look. Um, so it's slightly short on the side and slightly short at the back so i like to like shape my afro but it's not shaved not shaped not shaped at the moment so i always use for now i use like a bobby pin to like hold the sides in the back a little bit so it gives me that shape that i like um if you already like the shape of your afro of course live your life but um if you like a slightly tapered look and you want it to kind of look like mine then you may want to put like bobby pins on the side and at the back to give it the shape and also this style or this method works with long or short and my hair is kind of like short but it would also work perfectly with long hair as well so that's the end of this video and i will see you in my next bye guys